joining us once again for for better or for worse ministry i'm your host donald ross and with me is the love of my life my beautiful red candy apple tonight <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda Ross. How you doing, baby? You doing good? I am wonderful, and thank you. Good, you good, are looking good. especially handsome yourself well, tonight. It's, it's Valentine's Day. Yes, it's we're Valentine's, still it's, celebrating. It's, it's Valentine's Day. And um, we know that most of you are probably selling, celebrating tonight, too. Um, I had some friends even at work that said that they went out last night, you know, because last night was officially Valentine's Night. And, uh, you know, they said that it wasn't really a crowd there last night. So, you know, I think that everybody's going to be out tonight and we shall be among them. Amen. Amen. Yes. And we just are so excited. Tonight is um, our last show for this session. Yes. We're going to say that. And it has been wonderful. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in for some of our friends faithful views. Some of you we don't even know, yes. but we know you've been faithful. We want to give a shout, shout out, out of course to our mother, um, my mom. Thank God for her. Amen. Amen. And we want to really give a shout out to Donald Jr., our oldest son, our oldest son. for taking care of his youngest brother yes. while we are here. A shout out to Darrell. A shout out to one of our cousins, Cousin Betty. Betty. She hey, is cuz. always, hey cuz. Thank you for your support. We oh, really yes. appreciate it and really all your helps encouraging us. words. She yes. is always so excited. Yes. God is so good. And uh, hopefully shortly we'll have the uh, phone number up on the screen for you. But yes. just in case you don't have it, it's 915-5202. There we go. Yes. 915-5202. Zero two. Call us. Let you let us know how your Valentine's Day is going. Let us know if you got some special plans. Let us know if uh, if if love is in the air. Oh, yeah. you know what? We want to also uh, give a special th shout out to the uh, Brooks. Yes. Brooks, yes. Yes. To the Brooks yes. uh, couple. That won the uh, the bank. Yes, yes, the date um, night. The date bank. night bank. Yes. They uh, we heard from them. We met them. They are a very nice couple. Oh, blessed very, couple. Yes. Very blessed couple. Uh, and they were they were um, they were able to utilize. Uh, the gifts, and uh, they went out twice, y'all. Yes, so God is God awesome. Is good. Amazing, amazing. They went out two times. And we remember sometimes, look, that's where we got the idea of yes. doing a vision jar or vision bank, yes. say, setting something aside because we always, you know, when you're young and you have your children, yes. you have your yes. bills, yes. sometimes you just got to set aside, set aside a aside. dollar or two. Look, just imagine if you do that for a couple of weeks with you or a month, what you will have at the end of the month so it's not a stretch. That's right. So thank you, sister and brother. Brooks, Brooks yes. uh, for calling, for doing that. The God anointed y'all to, to have that fun time. Yes. And let me tell you something else that's special that they shared. They shared that they actually, they tithe off of that gift. Yes, that, now, that was I'm, a blessing. Now, I'm telling you, you know what? They recognize when God gives a gift just to give back to God. Yes. And I like that. I that's, really do. That's really amazing. So tonight, because tonight... We're celebrating Valentine's Day. We're going to have a little love talk tonight. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Exciting. And Exciting. look, I had a wonderful day. I, they really, you all really expressed your love. I woke up and I looked downstairs and I was like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and we then, had that. God is good. God is good. I'll just you say know? that. I, will I, tell I did not everything. wait to the last minute this year. Yeah, that's right. But I did see a lot of brothers scrambling <laughs> at the last minute when I got off work. Exactly. Scrambling to get they those flowers, to get, to get those, those flowers, cards, all that. Yeah, But you definitely. know, like you said, Valentine's Day is not just one day of expression. Some people have some really awesome posts that on Facebook even that uh -huh. they do this all year all long. All year long. Yeah, so Amen. You, so it's like, okay, this is might be the day officially that's on the calendar, but guess what? This is what we do. That's anyway, right. that's this right. is what we should be doing 
Anyway, you know the um, scripture says in 1 Peter 4 and 8, above all things, have intense and unfailing love for one another. Come on. For love covers, covers a, a multitude, multitude of, of sins. Sin. That means it forgives and it disregards the offenses of others. Do you know that kind of love? That's a deep kind of love right there. That's a right deep there. love. Hello, Carla, you're on the air. I was just calling, you know who this is. <laughs> hey, yes, Ma. Hey, Y'all looking good, and I couldn't wait to hear the word, so um, I'm just going to make it short and sweet. Love y'all. Love, Love you, you too. too. And happy okay, Valentine's Day to you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, okay. talk to you later. Okay. That, that's Ma. That's I'm telling Ma, you, they, yes. You, that's, that's the number one Ma. That's Ma right there. Isn't hey, that so, man, that is awesome. It is. And so we know that love is not just based on a feeling. Right. You know, Christians, we should continue to love one another, as the word said, you know, love one another deeply, even when it's difficult sometimes. Because some people, they are good at expressing their love, but right now they might not be receiving that kind of love. Ultimately, the type of love that God would like us to have is described in the word as agape love. Yes. Agape love is the unconditional love. And, and unconditional means that we can bear anything, you know, because we love you. We, that we can put up with just about anything because we have an unconditional love for you. And in return, that unconditional love should be given back to us. And we're, and you know, we're not talking about, because sometimes people do think because you are Christ-like and you love that you should, you should, it should be some reciprocation. If you love somebody, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It should be some things because you do love them that you won't talk, you won't do. Right. But I think we're talking about a lot of level of forgiveness. Right. And that's in, all, in the yes. unconditional love in that God. Because, I mean, my God, look, they they strung up Jesus on the cross. They 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 put thorns on his head. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know, they gouged him in the side. Yeah. They gave him a uh, uh, fake. Uh, vinegar wine. Right, right. You know, they did all these things to him, and he still went through with what he had to do cause, and gave himself up for us. That's an unconditional love. It is. But there are times, too, honey, that some people take advantage of others, meaning, you know, as far as forgiveness. They may keep doing the, they are habitual offenders. You know, if you go down uh -huh. the street and you keep doing the same thing and the policeman keep um arrest, you know, keep giving you a citation for the same time same right. thing, well you're gonna go to court and the judge is gonna ask, wait, well gonna may say, well maybe you didn't get your lesson. So the goal also is to when you do offend others, uh -huh. you know, is to and I'm not saying how many times because you're right, the Bible says seventy times seventy, so right. we should forgive right. each other. Right. But there are times too where you have to get a repentant heart. And okay. the Holy Spirit will convict you of your sin. And therefore, when you get a repentant heart, that means you're going to turn away from that. See? Yeah. See? That, that, yes, yes. I love that word in you. The word. I Hallelujah. love that word in me also, because without the word, we are nothing. At the same token, agape love is an unconditional is. type of love. There may be boundaries that surround this love, but the ultimate yes. goal is that for us as married couples, yes. that we use this type of love. It's not like the filios love, which is based on a friendship, okay. where I can tell uh, one of my boys, like, yo, yo, bro, I love you, you know? But sometimes people get that cross, too. They well, say they're ooh. friends. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. I mean, it's different types of love. I don't know. Where did you get that from? Where, know, how did that come up like they that? They do. They're, oh, you know what? They are using the love that a married, married couple should have with their friends. Oh, well, no. I said my boy. And so right. that, no, we not need you. to separate that. I said my boy. <laughs> Yo, bro, I love you. You know? And that's, right. the, that's a friendship type of love. The agape love, I mean, just has uh, a more of a, a um, like you say, it's unconditional. It's right. deeper. You know, and I don't wish for anybody to be taken advantage of right. uh, whatsoever. But with agape love, you you can you can put up with a lot more stuff because now here right. comes the That's love true. of Christ is in your life too. Yes. Because the word tells us that you know, um, uh, uh, if 
If we love those that love us, then we, we really have done, done nothing, nothing because the people in the world does that. that now that's true. So that's good, so, and that's Luke six thirty two. Right. So that it doesn't make a difference. You know, we have to be above that. You know, because we're supposed to be separated yes. from thinking in that manner. So we're supposed to have a Christ like mind and and be in a Christ like manner. And therefore, you know, we have to also love the ones that are unlovable. Yes, Lord. Now, that is the word. That's true. I ain't true. saying we got to live with them. I'm just saying. <laughs> we got to love the ones that's unlovable because the whole principle is in our example of showing love um, through Jesus Christ um, that we draw. The word says that if he be lifted up, then we'll draw all he'll men draw all or he'll men. draw all men unto, the, unto them. Yes. And you, you know when that's true, like love is an action. Yes. Love is an action. Yes. Jesus, the word of God said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. Loved the he world. He gave his only begotten son. So it's difficult to say that you love a person, but you have no action. Right. And there are people sometimes that say, you know, their mouth is going ahead of their action. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they just calling some things that be not as though they were, but they may say, I love you, but yet there's no action be, be, um, with what they are saying. And I love this scripture also. We're going to be giving you a lot of love scripture because we're setting up something for you. Yes. You, um, Romans 12, 12 and 10. 10 says, be, be devoted to one another in love. Yes. Honor one another above yourselves. Uh-huh. Amen. See? So, <laughs> I like this one right here. Be devoted to one another in, in love. love. Yes. Honor one another above yourselves. Amen. Take a challenge with your mate. See which one of y'all can out love the other one. I know that's right. See which one of y'all can out serve the other one. That's good. That's a that's a good one. And Galatians five thirteen says that yes. through love, through love, through love, L O V E, you should serve one another. So sometimes, um, and I know like some people are do have like a servant. Um, heart, and so they like to serve all the time. All the time. But when you love one another, you don't yes. mind serving one another. Look, John 13, 13 and 14. 14. Jesus. And this is Jesus speaking. Yes, Go ahead. Jesus said, if I then, Come your Lord and I'm teacher, teacher. He's the master the teacher. teacher. He's a teacher like no other. Yes. He said, if I then, your Lord and teacher, mm -hmm. have washed your feet, yes, right. you also ought to wash one On another's, another's feet. feet. Can you imagine out there, married couples, if you would wash each other's feet? That's a, a humbling act. Don't go wash somebody else's feet, but go wash your mate feet. You know, I know some of y'all really can. Let me tell you, if we can go to the don't go, if we, don't go watch nobody else. Don't speak. Go watch nobody if we else can speak. go to the um the nails and you know nail salon and no and people wash our feet, yes. even though they're getting paid. But look, when you do something out of love, the money won't even count. That's right. You know, you won't even think about that. But just to get down and maybe we'll have a foot washing service for married people. Y'all wash his, each other's feet. His whole point was that no one is greater than than anybody else That's in that good. way. Yes. You know, you, you serve me, I serve you. You know, Amen. we serve one another in that manner. But it doesn't stop there. Ephesians 4 and 2 says, with patience, bearing with one another oh, and making yeah. allowances because you love one another. Amen. Now, this is where, this is where the unconditional love come in. Uh -huh. You know we're not perfect. Amen. It ain't but one that was perfect. Well, you know, we're not perfect, and we're going to make mistakes with one another, you know, right. but we got to have patience and understanding. And you know we're that, not. It's just like I'm sitting here, and my earring fell off my ear. And I'm trying to wonder why, <laughs> why my earring, earring fell off my ear. ear. <laughs> but I'm not going to be there to get it. But it just shows you we're imperfect. You know, you... <laughs> These that things happen. To do with so it. what we do? Plan A don't work. We go, go to, to plan, plan B. B. Just turn the other way a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's We're okay. We're real live people. Look, sometimes that's laughter right. is good for the soul. That's right. Sometimes you can't be so tight and so whatever. You know, the most important thing is that the word goes forward yes. tonight. That it changed. The yes. word will change your life if you apply the word. It does. And, and remember the fact that I said... Um, if plan A doesn't work, 
then we go to plan B. Yes. Because I want to share something with you about that. Even in 1 Corinthians 13 and 4, yes. it says, love suffers long. Amen. And is kind. Oh, my God, I'm going to repeat yes. that. And is kind. It's kind. Hopes all things. Oh, my God. Endures all things. Wait a minute. Hopes all things. Hopes all things. So it means if we got a hopeless situation. Come on. But love. Love. Hopes all things. Hopes all things. Yes. Endures all things. Oh, that's a good one. And love. Endure. Never fails. Love never fails. Love the never Bible fails. even said tongues and prophecies. That might that might fail, fade but away. Not love. That's right. Oh my God. Love never fails. The reason I say remember about plan A and go to plan B is because Yolanda uh, uh, had planned a special surpri surprise for me um, after the broadcast yes. for tonight. And uh, her plans kind of fell through. But you know what? Yes. Once she told me, she was she was disappointed because she was excited about it and oh everything. God, and I was yes. like, okay, boo, you know, don't worry about it. But you know what? Plan A didn't work. We got, got a plan, plan B. B. Yes. And I executed plan B this morning yes. and told her that, look, I already made us some reservations you know, so yes. that we can go out after the broadcast and enjoy ourselves because date night shall continue. In We're not going to let no, yes. no devil in hell is going to ruin our date night. This Amen. is our special Amen. night. Amen. Yes. yes and no physical ailments. You know what I mean? Out there, nothing yeah, <laughs> is going to ruin gonna that. Nothing is going to ruin that. Because God is, God is wonderful. He's Awesome. We know y'all a little quiet. Maybe everybody's having their date night, so they might see this a little bit later That's or all maybe right. tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll put it on but, YouTube. Yes, Lord. On but our we want to tell you, and we learned this too. Yes. When our kids were younger, and they didn't have a lot of disagreements, but the few times they did have disagreements, we when we learned what the scripture said in John 13, 1334. 1334. John 1334. Uh -huh. A new command I give to you yes. that you love one another Amen. as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So that's a command that's that it. Jesus has given to us. That's it. And we told our kids this. So when they would have little spats Bad. or disagreements, disagreements, we would immediately tell them to look, grab yeah. each other's hands, grab each other's hands, and, and look, look at each, each other, other in, in the, the eye. eye and and say, we are to love one another. We are to love one another. And we are here to tell you <laughs> it that works. it does. Because it works. before it was all over, they would be laughing. laughing. They couldn't help. They would try to be serious. You know how you want to be mad, but you can't be mad. So because we had that childlike mentality, yes. especially when we first got saved, yes. when you were communicating like your two little children and yes. you have no control. So we learned that this oh. not only works for the kids, but it works for the grown people acting like kids. That's so right. when you have a disagreement. So when y'all have a disagreement, look at each other and just keep saying, now I'm going to tell you, one of y'all going to be like, I ain't trying to say that. Yes, I, I don't, yes, I don't yes. feel like saying exactly. that. Exactly. And that's okay. Y'all just keep on saying it. You keep on trying it until something breaks. Oh and, my and God. And that's all it is. It's just, you'll find out it's not that big of a deal. Yes. Anyway. Yes. You know, yes. don't sweat the small stuff like that. I know that. that's right, but sometimes people do have some big stuff going on, honey. Well, you know, our words are very powerful, and Amen. in our relationships, you can speak life or you can speak death Amen. over your situation. Lessons or curses. Now, when Yolanda told me about the surprise and then how things kind of fell through, you know, she didn't speak death about it. We, we immediately said, well, okay, you know what? We will go to plan B. We'll think of something else to do. You right, know, we, yes. we brought that back to life. You know, we didn't let that hope, you know, fail. that, that mm -hmm. she wanted to um, uh, present um, in that manner fail. Yes, you Lord, know, because presentation is everything. Because and I had a great presentation. Because because my love for her <laughs> said I didn't want her to be disappointed with what she was going to do for me. So in return, you oh. know, we're going to combat that thing and still produce my God. In that manner Bear like that. Fruit. That's fruit Still bearing. produce. That's good, honey. I love that. Yeah. And I want to just thank God for you. Amen. Because Amen. you know what? <laughs> I just like, it's like my favorite. And he says, honey, I don't know. But he it, just bearing with me as well and us being able to do this show together. Um, it is a blessing. You know, yes. and it's always, it reminds me of one of my good sandwiches. 
peanut butter and jelly. You know, we always talk about peanut butter and jelly. Like peanut butter, it can oh, be dry, Carla. dry and sticky. Yes. But jelly is like sweet, and it just makes the yeah. sandwich. It enhances the sandwich. Peanut butter and peanut jelly. Peanut butter and like jelly. We're going to hold on that. Carla, you're on the air. <laughs> Yeah, I just tried to see how much the book was. Which one? Uh, the first book. <laughs> oh, through it all for better or for worse. Yes. It's fourteen ninety five. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay thank, you. thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. And we'll tell you. You can go to our website at um. www.forbetteroforworseministry.com. Www right, and you can and order you can from order there through PayPal. If you want to do that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, God Hallelujah. is so good. We're glad you're out there listening. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And so what we were about to say before I talked about the peanut she butter and the jelly. She was into her peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you know, without the bread, it's no sandwich, it's really. It's no sandwich. It's just like without Jesus, that's the glue that keeps you together. Amen. You know, peanut butter alone can be just dry. I've eaten a peanut butter sandwich, but I like it when you just put it together. You know, God is just awesome. So, you know, what we wanted to talk about tonight, we're going to go into um, the Song of Solomon. We're going to have a little love talk. Solomon yes. started it all. Woo, Jesus. <laughs> and, um, and we're not going to give you a whole lot of background about Solomon, but he right. did. Yeah, he, he did. Uh, he had a he lot had, of practice. He Let's was just smooth, say that. a smooth talker. Yes, I he was. I tell you that. He was a smooth talker. And, you know, Luke um, 638 says, for with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. Yes. So if you sow love, yes. you will reap love. And most of the time that that particular scripture is used talking about really about money. Right. You know, and, and that's what most people use it for. But it's, it's in general. It doesn't specifically say. It just says that whatever measure uh, you use, it will be measured back to you. I like that. Yeah. And then the rest of it says uh, good measure. Press, Press down, down shaking, shaking together, together and running, running over. over. We're men given to your bosom. See? I think, yes. Yes. And, and so what we're expressing to you is use the word for your relationship. The word is not just for Sunday school on Sundays and church service. The word is for your everyday Every life day. that you can use. We use this word yes. because if there's a situation, that, a life situation mm -hmm. that, that I don't have an answer for or I need to know something about, mm -hmm. first thing I do is look it up and see what the word says Amen. about it. That's the truth. Yes, honey. Because if the word has now, if the, the word does have something in it, I don't care what's under the sun. Right. Because nothing is new. New under the sun. Right. The word has an answer for you. Now, how you apply it, that, well, may, be, you apply that may be it. the personal, a personal preference. Right. But it gives you some understanding of what it is that you're up against uh, when you don't know the answer to those situations. That's, and so yes. for the measure that you, uh, that you use, it will be measured back to you. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. good. That's good. So, so if you love, sow a little love, if you sow a little love, you get a little get love. A little love you sow a lot of love, you're going to get one. We're not going to say where it's going to come from, That's but right. you know, Jesus always loves you. That's right. And if nobody told you out there, happy Valentine's day, or they love you, guess what? We love you we in love the love you. in the Lord. In the Lord. Amen. Amen. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. One um, in verse, chapter one and verse two mm -hmm. says, let him kiss me. Come on. With the kisses of his mouth. Come on. For your love is better than wine. Mm. And most of us who may have tasted wine know that wine can get better with time. So we want to ask you this question, and we want to first say this. So therefore, our love should be getting better, better and not worse. And not worse. And if your mate, or if your mate were to ask you, or someone were to ask you, is your um, uh, oh, love I'm sorry, is if your you love. were to compare yeah. your love to your love to wine, I'm sorry, would it be better and and sweet? Or would it be bitter and, and bland? bland? It's nothing worse than bland wine. That's right. For those that drink wine, and you know, it's nothing worse than something tart when you like something <laughs> sweet. I so, know that's right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> also, I know uh, also in, in Solomon, um, 
was it uh, two and, and, and I mean one and two. Yes. Actually, I want to read three because three says, pleasing is the fragrance of your perfume. Oh, yes. Your name is like perfume poured out. No wonder the maidens love you. Uh-huh. So, so even his smell. So it, this says that women like a good smelling man. Oh, yes. They yes. like they their heads might turn when that man walk by and they catch that smell. Yeah. They be like, mm, he smell good. Oh yes. I love to buy good cologne for my honey, like the scents that I know I'm gonna like. And some cologne, I even say, don't wear that to work. You know, <laughs> no, no, that's date night cologne right there. And we don't just like cologne, oh, but make sure you clean clean up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cleanliness is next, next to, to godliness. godliness. So don't just splash some cologne on it. You know you, you haven't taken love. a shower. You know, we didn't, but you know, let's be clean. Yes, because that's what he said. He said they it was clear that. The fragrance of him, you know, the smell of him was attractive. Yes, yes. And, that's and you what know we what want. else is attractive no, to? Like that, huh? I know. We jeez like that. What what else is attractive is a man that loves God. Okay. That's a good, that's a sweet aroma. That's a good smell. Amen. You know, a man that praises God or a man who has a good spirit because he's in relationship with the Lord. Amen. Amen. So before, mm -mm. do we want to go to the next chapter before we take a little break? Uh, well, we can take a break right now. Um, the phone lines are open, 915-5202. From the Song of Solomon here, and Solomon was, was, was quite the uh, spokesperson, if you might want to add. He was <laughs> very fond of the ladies, and the ladies were very fond of him. But the words that he used and the way that he used them uh, made them feel very special. Yes, and um, beginning with verse one of chapter two, um, it says, "I am the I am the rose of Sharon and the lily of, of the, the valleys." valleys. Okay. And this is this was the Shulamite woman, or um, as the Bible describes her as the Shulamite or the woman. And verse two, he says, "Like a lily among the thorns, yes. so is my love among the daughters." See, she thought mm -hmm. that she was Come just on. ordinary yes. or not that beautiful. Yes. But here, Solomon reassures her that she's lovely. And why we want to share this with you all is that it's so important in the relationship that we reassure Assure. one another right. or help to build up one another. Sometimes people will say, well, you got no self-esteem if somebody have right. to tell you that. Right. But it's just like when we encourage our children, children. and we tell them, Good you things. do that all the time. Exactly. And you'll tell people you don't even know. Your friends, uh, strangers, how good they look. Oh, that look nice. I like that on you. Right. But what about the person that live with you every day? That's good. In that way. You know, they have to be reassured that they look good. Look, I want to tell my wife that she looks good before any other person tells her that I was going to say knucklehead, but I ain't going to use that. You know, <laughs> <You're saying. laughs> you know but... I don't, I don't want another man to compliment her first before I compliment exactly. her. Exactly. It's just as simple as that. I, so when he compliments her, that's just confirmation of what I just already told Exactly. Her. You know, so she can reflect back that Boo already told me that, so yes. I'm good. Exactly. <laughs> that, I want to be on her mind. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's why you are on my mind. That's and I want to do the same thing, even when you go to work. That's you right. know, I want to say, Boo, you look good. Go get that job. Go get that <laughs> blessing. <laughs> I love the money. way you go make that money, baby. <laughs> I love how you dedicated like that. You know, I want to be, I'll be like, that uniform even look good. There you go. It might be plain, but I'm going to put a crease in it. I know nobody's doing creases no more, really. I love a but crease. I put a crease in his pants because I want his uniform to even stand, stand out. <laughs> I know Did we have right. a caller? I thought we, okay. No, no well, caller. we're going to keep okay. on going. So, call look, back. But, Call back. Verse Amen. three says, and um, let me say this also. I forgot to say this. That when you do that, honey, like mm -hmm. we have shared with couples, when you do that, then you don't have to worry about anybody coming up in your eating. Like like oh, the serpent came, like the serpent that's came good. up in the came in the Eden it to snuck, tell snuck a word right, in to, the to tell a word. But uh -huh. see, if she really 
believe the word that Adam had already said per God, uh -huh. then guess what? She, she wouldn't have even listened. She, she wouldn't have even entertained Adam with the, already, who, oh, and Adam already He already me. told me what we're supposed yeah, to be doing. Yeah. But, but we got everything we already need already. Yeah. So this is a safeguard to your marriage. Because she would have said, if Pastor Jefferson, if you watch it, she would have said, nah, 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 boo, boo, I already know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside one right there. Amen. Yes. And so verse three says, yes. like an apple tree among the trees mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. woods, mm -hmm. so is my mm -hmm. beloved among the sons. Mm -hmm. I sat down in his shade with great delight and, this, and his fruit was sweet to mm -hmm. my taste. Mm -hmm. So she's telling him, I love this. Yeah. this I mean, she's just telling him that in the midst of nothing, nothing. he's fruitful yes. and pleasant. Mm -hmm. Because can you imagine a monk, he's an apple tree in the midst of trees in the woods. Yeah. In, the, in the woods. Yeah, he's, yeah. In the midst Come of on. nothing. Nothing. Oh, my God. God Burn can fruit. It. Yes. Burn fruit. God can pull a, take a nothing mm -hmm. and make you something. Mm -hmm. He can take you from nowhere mm -hmm. and make you shine. Mm -hmm. Put his DNA in you. And you know, Put his anointing on you. Sometimes we miss that piece of fruit like that. You know, we, we, we overlook that tree. Yes. You know, because we think that the other tree looks better. Oh, that's good. The other good. tree, is, the tree, is, other tree looked like everybody else too. Looked like everybody else. Mm -hmm. But this tree, see, this tree wasn't didn't catch you right off God off off uh, right at first. The peeling didn't catch you right at first. But you didn't look at around. This tree stood out among all the other trees that yes. looked alike. Yes. Oh, that's good. And this one was different. See. Yes. You know, it's, that's it's good. Like, it's like. You don't know what you had until you lose it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 So you can be in a place mm -hmm. that seemed like nothing is going on. And then and she set up on she she says she set up under in the shade and, and uh let me see. How, how, my she version sa says that with great um, delight. With, with I delighted to sit in his shade. Yes. And his fruit was sweet to the taste. See, she felt uh, um, covered yes, with yes. him. She felt protected. Amen. You know, she felt safe. Oh my God. Women like to feel safe. And you know, that is the role. Like, that's why if uh, an example, if we go to a car dealership or we're going to get a car repaired, yes. it's good when you have your husband. Usually, I don't go with you. Mm -hmm. You do all of that. But it's good because sometimes women get taken advantage of by some places. They don't know. Either. Right. So it's good to feel like my man got my back or I have your back. And I know sometimes I say maybe when um, I can't do it, but I know the car needs an oil change and if she's out. I'll say, well, when you go up here to the place, right, mm -hmm. this is what you tell them, sweetheart. All you want. Is the oil change? Yes. And the lube. You, do you don't want yes. nothing else. <laughs> nothing they else. They're going to come at you and they're going to tell you you need another air filter. You need this. Right. You need that. And you tell them, my husband said, all we need is the oil change. And when you say that, that authority, let me tell you, people respect that. My husband said. Yeah. I'm telling you, because, yeah. you know. Because I, now. Somebody else on the other end knows that, okay, somebody else knows know what's up. There's a covering, you know yes. what's going on. I mean, you know, those other things we can get later, but we don't need that right, right. now. But I'm glad I don't have to do that most of the time. No, no. Very no, seldom. I can't even that. think of the last time I did that. But And, you know, this, you know, it reminds me too, honey, uh -huh. um... There's just like when we would grow up sometimes and we, you knew people who had your back. Right. And sometimes you didn't know well, who you had, thought, your, you back. They right. had your back. Right. Until you, until down. a problem went down. Right. Was, you look around, you be like, where'd they go? Right. So you should know though, above everybody and everything that you as a married couple got each other's back mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. It's just like, uh, well, we were talking about it, the movie that Will Smith played in, yes. uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Now, his wife, she, she couldn't endure. Right. And, and she really, she, she, she gave up right before the blessing. Oh, yes. You yes. know, but he endured with his son. You know, and the next thing you know, um, you know, his endurance. Paid off. His, his, his steadfastness. Yes, Paid Lord. off. And, 
Next thing you know, he was a millionaire. His, uh, his Rehoboth came. His you know how the Bible, Bible said that God made He room. dug a lot of holes. Yes, yes. And everybody tried to fill them holes and take it from him. Yes. But this last hole My that God. he got was his hole. This My was God. His Rehoboth. Rehoboth. That means God made hey, room for man, me. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Rehoboth. Rehoboth. That's but right. But see, sometimes people give up yeah. before Rehoboth get, before your Rehoboth get there. That's but you need to endure. Say, Don't give up five minutes before the blessing. Yes, Lord. That's right. It's and right there. You can touch it, but you want to give up. God is trying to get it to you, but you want to give up. You know, it's not the blessing. It's the process that he wants you to get. Yes. So you understand when you get the blessing how to handle it, what to do with oh, it. Oh, that's good. That's Amen. good. Amen. See, see, in that movie, if I could just imagine in yes. that movie, yes. if the movie kept on going, I know that he would not have been a selfish man. I know that he would have been a man that would help somebody else, yes. that would have been a blessing to somebody else. And even though his wife left him, he may not have taken her back in the movie, but he was he probably would have blessed her uh, with a little something, but not the blessing that she would have got if she was still by his side. Yes. Bone of my bone, flesh, flesh of my, of my flesh. flesh. Yes. I'm not going to run out through, through it all for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. In the good times, in the bad times. That's right. Many people have lost homes. Yes. They have lost jobs. Yes. But look, if you run out because somebody lose a job, I'm not talking about some foolishness. You know, like you just don't want to work because the Bible said man don't work, man, man don't, don't eat. eat. But I'm talking about some things that have happened to many people during this time. Yes. You don't run out in the bad times. That's right. See, I don't want to hang with nobody that you just want to be with a person in the good time. That's Anybody right. can hang with you in the, in the good time. That's right. And the next um, verse says, Come he on. brought me to the banqueting house. Took him and, back to the house. And his banner over me was love. So that's why it's also important, honey, we believe that a man should have a place to provide for you. Yes. Even if it's a one bedroom or maybe you all can get a place together when you're starting out. Because, see, he has somewhere to bring her. Don't come. And it and, was an atmosphere of love that he brought her yes, into. Yes, that's good. That's important, too. Yes, the setting atmosphere your atmosphere. is very important. And we started some years ago, you know, when our kids were young sometimes, we I've made that error. You're like, you have in your bedroom. That's your atmosphere. That's your eating right there. That's your place of, you know, pleasure. So in your bedroom, like, take some of those clothes baskets out. I don't care clean if you got to clean the room, paint, paint. the room, Do get a new New Different. comforter, you know. Um, we have some new things that we want to do in our in our area. You know, I started building, getting one piece at a time, if that's what it means. But do something different, cause you don't always want to look over there and you're like, oh. That's going to remind you that you got to do them clothes. <laughs> we got to put these clothes away. So it'll it'll mess up your whole thinking. Your whole thinking. Yeah. That's you want right. to you want to create a love. good, a love atmosphere. atmosphere. You know, you have to come to one of our workshops. I'll give you some little secrets <laughs> and some tips. But for real, we, that's what we want to do. And verse five says, uh, strengthen me with raisins, refresh me with apples, for yes. I am faint with love. Oh, I like that. So he gave her something to eat. Yes. <laughs> Not only did he took her to a, he took her to a place that she had a roof over here. Yes. You know, and inside it was an atmosphere of love. Yes. And he was able to provide. Uh huh. So she didn't have to go hungry. You know, he gave her those things. He was whining and dining. Yes. So he gave <laughs> her know? something to hold on to. And to you, think about. Yes. So sometimes we have to present. He might be a, a keeper. We Sometimes we have to present a picture. Yes. Like sometimes you, you know, we don't want to give you too many details, but you might want to um, dress up like a favorite character or something. Don't do nothing crazy. Role play. You know. <laughs> I don't know if we have to say that. Oh, because no, without we got no. Toys, wait a minute, because we got too many people role playing. They reversing the roles. No, 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 no. Okay. But, you know, there are some things like one Friday. I remember one evening you came home not too long ago, and we just played some music, and we just danced. We played that, some music, and that, and was, just and that so was just fun. And that was just fun. It gives do. you something. Uh, it breaks up the monotony of um, every day. Everyday, everyday working, routine. Yeah, everyday mm. routine. That's it right mm. there. So verse 6 says, his left hand is mm -mm. under my head. Come on here. 
and his right hand embraces me. Mm. So it sounds like he's gentle with her and he's keeping her safe. He got her with the left hand and the right hand. Yeah. Yeah. He covered her with love and he gave her something to eat. You know, he was willing to share. That reminds me of a song that says, was it touching me softly was his song. Telling no, my th- whole life with his words. Was that killing me soft? Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong song. Wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are quiet out there tonight, but I'm telling you That's what, okay. we're having a good time. That's right. And, you know, it, it sounded like it was such a great experience for uh-huh. her that she was really longing for him. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. She, this is how, and this is how we should be in our marriages. And even if you're not there, guess what? You can pray. You can pray about any and everything. And there's some key words in there. Um, he was touching her so men, and, and embracing her. You know, sometimes y'all just got to sit at home and cuddle up. Yes, amen. You know, get some popcorn or something, watch a movie together. That's just, a date night right there. That's a date night. Just right. sit at home and cuddle up. You know, it might be an opportunity to rub the feet. Right. Instead of washing them, you might have the opportunity to wash, to rub the feet. I mean, just do something different. Don't do the same thing all the time because right. it gets boring. Right. Do you hear me? It's boring. Yes, you have to keep the it's boring. spark. It's we boring. did. I think we did a, a segment one time. Ignite the fire. Yes. Or ignite that flame. Relight that fire. Mm-hmm. That flame. You know, even on your fireplace the what, flame go out whatever happened to the imagination of those when that you had when you were dating right your imagination was great you would come up with some crazy things to do and you would have fun but then it seemed like once you said i do you was like well i ain't gotta do that no more because i already got him right. i already got her yes you do you got to keep the dream the spark alive right you got to keep that dream going you got to keep have her looking forward to something. What he gonna do next? Yeah, what's you know? she gonna wear next? I tell How's, you what, yes. it's something funny that makes you laugh. Uh, we came home one evening, and um, I, we were in my truck, and uh, uh, it was raining a little bit, right? Oh yes. And, and so I opened up the garage door. You know, I got kind of close to it because the car was in there, and she said, "Honey, I need an umbrella." You know. And I was like, the door right there. Boo, yeah, he told me to in, run you know? and you could just like, run no, in the box. I'm get my hair wet. So I said, okay, you want to No, arm? no, no. But wait a minute. What I said to you, I said, but I said, when you were dating me, That's you would have right. got that umbrella. I wouldn't even had to ask I would have got that umbrella. So I said, well, okay, I'm going to get you an umbrella. And I went in the garage <laughs> and I went and got, you know, your table that go on the deck. The umbrella, the big umbrella. I went in there and I got that umbrella and I unwind that and I held that umbrella. Oh my God. And I opened up and I said, there, this is an umbrella for you. And well, that was so funny. Oh, yes, it was. I put it on my Facebook page. <laughs> I had so We had so many likes because it really showed me that something, was funny. too. That was so hilarious, but it showed me you wanted to make sure. I was really, really covered. That you and was sometimes covered. you can't, I'm glad, like you said, there would have been a time maybe that we wouldn't have even been able to say that to one another That's without right. getting offended. If I said, honey, when you were dating me, you did that. Yeah. Or like what I would do, and one of my neighbors, she started noticing she would be laughing. She told her husband, look, Yolanda sit in the car That's and right. wait for him to get her. If we go somewhere, and he doesn't come and open that door, then I'm sitting in the car. <laughs> She'll and sit right there. Now, dude. unless we have the rail with us because yeah. he has a wheelchair, that's a different story. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hey, how y'all doing this evening? Great. We're doing good. How are you? That's wonderful. Uh, just calling in to say it was good to see you today, brother. You and your wife look lovely. Lovely couple. You're oh, doing a wonderful God. job getting the word out there. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, Oh. Amen. You're a beautiful couple, you know, and uh, you're giving us some good information. Thank to you, To God be the glory. God gives to, all yes, the glory Yes, he does. Thank you for your Thank words you of so encouragement. Much. Absolutely. You Thank know, you. Sure. That's so Keep sweet. The blessings that y'all on all your people that y'all come across, okay? Amen. 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 Thank you.
Thank you out there. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's some it's some sweet people out there. We know some of y'all just looking and and laughing along with us, but it it really encourages our heart to the know that. The phone lines are always yes. open. Nine and we don't five, look. This is our last show. This is our last show for this session. for this season. Yes. For this moment. So maybe we have a little more time to um, verse we ten. Do. Verse ten mm -hmm. says, "My beloved spoke and said to me." She said, my beloved spoke and said to me, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. Oh, it sounds like a new season. New season. Oh, my God, I love a new season. New season. The flowers appear on the earth. And see, sometimes your new season or you got to decree. The Bible says you can decree a thing and God will establish it. Come you on, have yeah. to decree like some days I get up when I don't know what might, how I might feel or what may be going on. I decree that the day is going to be a good day. That's this right. morning I had to go in my prayer closet. He was at work. I'm home with Darrell taking care of him. But I woke up feeling not as great. Amen. But guess what? I decreed my healing. Yes. And I decreed that today was going to be a blessed day. Hello, Carly. You're on the air. Thank you. Where you all been at? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, uh, we've been on here. You know it. Okay. Yeah, we've yeah. been back and forth. I, I know that voice. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how you doing? Look here, uh, I, you know, it's just good to see. Uh, I see you. Hello? Uh oh did we lose him? Well, we'll, we'll, we lost we'll the call, call, call back. back. I think we lost the caller. So, as in the scripture is, Oh, the time of singing has come. Yes. Oh, my God. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. Listen to the sweet words that he is saying. The fig tree come on. puts forth her green figs. And the vines with the tender grapes gives a good smell. Rise up, my love, my fair one, Ouch. and come away. Come away. Because, see, we get ready to go <laughs> in a new season. In a new season. You know, I'm telling you. You got to see your season before you even get there. That's right. Like, what's that you told me, honey? You said from now on, doing a lot of things were going on with my real estate business and the economy and all that. You said we're gonna, we not going to lose. We're gonna not going to live like, like we're we going to lose something. We're going to live like we're going to gain. Amen. And so what we start doing, we start getting out the paint. Let's right. paint the house. Because, yeah. see, we ain't going to lose the house. We're going to paint the house. We're going to start decreeing. The word of God that's in your mouth and watch your season change. See, this was a season that you no longer said, I can't make it. But you say, I know we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Yes. And faith. You got to have faith in your marriage. Yes. I mean, you got to have, you, you got to know who's covering you. I'm my God. And, and who's going to bring these things to pass. Come on, yes, yes. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. Fellas, I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, I struggled with things for a long time. Thank but when you, I Jesus. realized, my when God. I realized that the goodness of God in this way, Hallelujah. when I realized that Jesus really did love me, me and yes, what Lord. he did for me, you know, I could never repay in that Hallelujah. way. Hallelujah. But I could tell others about what he's done. Let me tell you, signs and wonders and miracles, I've seen them. I've yes. witnessed them. Yes, you now, lived them. Now, the sea didn't part, but I got some stories that I can tell you that you'll scratch your head and wonder why and wonder Hallelujah. how. Hallelujah. But because in the carnal mind, it doesn't make sense. But because I have developed a somewhat a relationship with my Lord and Savior, Hallelujah. in the spiritual sense, I'm at peace with it and I understand. Yes, See, Lord. See, when adversity come up against me, I don't, I don't get depressed and down. I be like, well, okay, well, we, well, we can do something about that. Yes, amen. Because we can speak to it because we have faith. Let me, let, we have enough faith that we can speak to it. Uh, what is this? Uh, Mark eleven twenty two. Uh huh. Have faith yes, in God. Lord. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea. Yes, Lord. And does not doubt in his heart. Yes. But believes that believes. what he says will happen. It will be done for him. Amen. 
Yes. Yes, honey. You understand? And then in our prayer time, when we pray, we pray for one another. Yes. We pray for another, one another's strength. Yes. We pray for another one, another one's happiness. Yes. We pray for one another's uh, uh, um, char character building. Amen. That's you know, good. We, we pray the things for one another. We don't go in, in prayer and, 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 te and tear down each other. Because when you go in prayer and start tearing down each other, God will reveal to you the speck in your eye when you the plank in your eye when you trying, trying to, to get, get the speck, speck out of somebody else's eye. <laughs> and now you, we did used to do that in our That's immature right. days. That's God, right. get them. God, you see them. I'm not gonna act like some days I do say that, That's but right. guess what? He say, and I see you too. See, remember when Jesus told that woman, Come on the woman that came with the alabaster oil, oil and the Pharisee, tell it, baby, tell the it. Pharisee was like. If Jesus knew what manner of woman that was that uh -huh. was doing this. But see, Jesus knew his thoughts. Jesus already, just like he knows yeah. our thoughts. Yeah. He knew what that man was thinking about that woman. But Jesus broke him down. And they missed the whole point. Yes. Even though the oil was expensive, they were talking about, well, we could have sold that. You could have right. done something else with that. But they missed the whole point. What she did, she did because she recognized who she was doing. Oh, that my God. Yes. That's what yes. she did. She bowed down to the she right. Down because she, yes. she know how to get her sins forgiven. Oh, Hallelujah. yes, yes. And like I was saying, back to Mark 11, uh, 22, I'm uh -huh. on um, 20, 24 now. Therefore, I tell you, yes. whatever you ask in prayer, believe, believe that, that you, you have received it, it and it, it will, will be yours. Yes, amen. It See? will be yours. See, and when 25, and when you... And when you stand praying, uh -huh. if you hold anything against anyone, forgive him yes. so that your father in heaven may forgive your sin. Amen. See, we can't hold on to stuff with one another. Right. We got to forgive We got to let it go, another. even we though you might not go. want it. That's where you start to say we are to love one another. And you know the other um, verse back to Solomon, the Song of Solomon, um, Second chapter, verse 15 says, catch the foxes for us. These little foxes for the vineyard. The, they are our flowers in our vineyard now. See, this is the things that we have to deal with as married couples that will potentially mess up your marriage. You know, like we talked about safeguarding. There are some things that my husband and I, we've talked about that we don't do, that we may have seen others fall in their area. Or we right. may have made our own mistakes in our marriage. Mm -hmm. So now we know how to protect our marriage. You know, so many times when people are out there and they're before the public eye, my heart goes out to them. Sometimes we're talking about, we're not talking to put them down, but that's how sometimes men and women of God, especially the men of God, fall in the house of God with the woman that they shouldn't have. Because guess what? You shouldn't have been counseling with her anyway. You shouldn't have been telling her all your problems anyway. You shouldn't have been building up your secretary more than you building up your wife. Yeah. You shouldn't have been always your secretary got to travel with you or your special little evangelist or whomever got to travel with you and your wife never traveling with you. Look, if you safeguard, we're not putting anybody down because see, Jesus even told that woman with the alabaster, he told the Pharisee, he said, see this woman right here? He said when, he said she loved much because she was forgiven oh, much. much. He said, but you, you love little because you was forgiven mm -hmm. little. So Jesus is not the thing that we do if you know where to come to come and you know how to turn away yeah. stop putting Jesus back on that cross yeah. every time we live any kind of way every time we and we are not perfect but we no. know what Jesus has done, done with us. us see when That's he right. makes you holy come you on. are really holy really and holy. hallelujah without holiness no man can see God come on That's hallelujah so Preach. we have to we this is what they are talking about the little foxes the little foxes it's like we used to use this example of the dirt bag. Once yes. you forgive and put that stuff in that bag, don't bring it up again. Because if you dig it up, the word, I told you, everything is in the word. The Amen. word, uh, I'm at um, Luke eleven twenty six. Yes. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits. Now, see, that, that, that forgiveness is a spirit that you are forgiven. That's, that forgiveness is a spirit that you're binding up. That forgiveness is a spirit that you're trying to get out of that person. It's not the person themselves. Yes. It's a spirit that's in yes. there. And once you get rid of that spirit, don't, 
don't try to bring that spirit back. Because if you do, the spirit does not come back alone. It brings some posse with him. <laughs> and, and look, the word yes. says, and then this was after the spirit was taken out of the man. And then uh -huh. it says, it goes and, and takes uh, seven other spirits more wickeder My God. Uh, than itself. And they go and live there. And the final condition of the man is worse than oh, it wow. was at first. Yes, Lord. So if you try to pick up that old stuff that you try That's to let good. go of, yes. it's just going to be worse. I give you an example. Yes. Okay? Let's not do the spirit. Let's do the cigarettes I used to smoke. Come on. Tell when the I, truth, honey. When I first tried to stop smoking cigarettes, it was great. It was grand. None. But when I picked it up again, I noticed that I started smoking more wow. than I was at first. Wow. You tell when the I truth, honey. I stopped the second time. It was grand. It was great. I felt good. My skin color came back. I was great. Yes. I was wonderful. I gained yes. weight. But I picked That's it up right. again. And the third time, you know, I smoked more. But I had to make a choice that I'm going to give up these cigarettes for the better of our life and for my health, and I'm not going to pick them up again. And it and was I, an addictive spirit. And it was an addictive spirit. And, and that, I'm so thank you, right. Jesus. Thank See, God. whom the son set free is free indeed. He went on a fast. We went on a fast. That's right. I remember that. And, you, and thank God. Look, God gives you like the patch. The patch, the patch tools helps to him. You. And you got to use the whole process. You just can't feel good after 30 days and think you're going to do it. No. And some that's people an, do. That's some an people do spirit get. That tells you you feel all right. But that's the, that's the evil spirit telling you you can do it without this. Right. Because the first time frustration gets into your life, you're going to fall. Oh, yeah. You, and that's why some have people do mind. smoke. Right. And I followed that on. Let me tell you, I haven't smoked a cigarette. In years. Oh, Since my God. April 1st, 2005. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so I know. And yes, God we were was. in ministry. We, we were we were yeah. attending ministry oh. and he was still smoking. Just like some people got go other out, vices. Had to go outside the church and take a take a hit. You you didn't smoke on the church grounds. Huh? I didn't smoke. I smoked right after church. Yeah, but you didn't I was smoke close on church to the church grounds. Because I'm like I'm amazed when people get out of out of church <laughs> and smoke on church grounds. Now you well, can look. go down the street round the corner. <laughs> but really. Come on now, but uh, look, deliverance is available for you. We're this has been wonderful. We have, we're running out of time. I know we are, and uh, it's been so wonderful. A yes. couple things we want to do before we go tonight. Um, first of all, we want to say that Yolanda's books are available on the website, www.forbetteroforworseministry.com. And... Uh,